Hi everyone, hope you're well. Um, quick video, uh, this is my MFJ971 portable um, antenna matching unit. <clears throat> I've been meaning to do this video for a week or more. Um, these uh, matching units, um, they sell for what I think is quite a lot of money, but £180 new. Um, I needed one for my um, Yaesu FT817 to go uh, for uh, portable, basically, portable operations. Um, and it is possible to do that with a full size matching unit, but if you if you're properly portable um, and, you've, and you're putting stuff in the rucksack or whatever, um, I will, I'll I'll show you a size comparison in a minute. But um, standard matching units uh, are way bigger. I've got an MFJ nine four eight and I've got a nine four nine E, and they're both sort of pretty huge in comparison. Um, so a portable matching unit was always going to be the case for me because um, to use to use with the FT817, uh, all that kit um, needs to go inside a, a single flight case really is how I'm, I, I operate. So um, I looked around and as I said, you know, for, for 180 pounds, couldn't really justify it. But then I found one on eBay being sold. Uh, I think it was, I think the guy wanted, uh, well, it was it was start, start bidding at, um, I think it was about 120 or was it start bidding at 100 and it was buy it now 120 anyway i managed to buy this one uh complete with the uh in the box um used once in as new condition and he was absolutely right about that it literally doesn't have a mark on it for, and i got it for 110 including shipping so uh that i consider to be a very good deal indeed and that's almost as good a deal as the uh, 275 pounds i actually spent buying the uh, ft817 and this is the perfect uh, matching unit for that, really, a manual matching unit anyway. So it's rated at 200 watts, uh, 1.8 to 30 megahertz, so okay for uh, top band. Um, and I've gone portable with it a couple of times uh, on the uh, Harwell SCEDs. Um, and uh, well, what was interesting actually was that um, I was actually copied pretty well. I mean, obviously, there, there, were, there, there were a couple of stations that couldn't hear very much, but um, members of Harwell are hearing me, even on 5 watts um, uh, from Abingdon, so, uh, which is really good news, and um, using this matching unit. So um, it has the, basically the same functionality as, a sort of, as, as the bigger um, MFJ products. Um, so there's the, uh, you can plug in a sort of balanced... Uh, uh, wire uh, or just a single um, uh, high Z wire, uh, obviously the standard SO239 socket, um, and then uh, transmitter out into the uh, into the radio. Uh, 12 volt socket for a lamp for the meter, so if you uh, so wish, and then switch in on the uh, the, the calibrate on the scale on the uh, SWR meter uh, and a ground. For a counterpoise or for attaching to an earth, um, so uh, you know I, I, I think that uh, that overall, um, well, the condition as you can see is superb, uh, absolutely uh, pristine as new, and uh, saved myself seventy quid. So there you go. And in fact, comparing it to uh, another MFJ product, so if you look at that, so there you go. So the uh, unit underneath is my nine. Four eight, uh, and then you can see the, the difference in size. So, uh, <clears throat> as I said, there's no there's no issue, you know, um, uh, taking a nine four eight or a nine four nine e out in the field, but it, it, there is a huge difference in uh, in size. So uh, it made the nine seven one the uh, the perfect uh, ATU uh, for use with the FT eight one seven. And um, uh, as I said, I've used it; works very well. Um, and so I recommend this uh, matching unit if you want a manual matching unit for use with the 817 uh, to uh, anyone that's got one. So uh, I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, I'm planning to actually upload a video at some point uh, of me operating uh, in a portable uh, with my portable setup, uh, which I'll do that at some point. Um, I haven't done it yet. Um, but on one of these skeds coming up, uh, I, I will definitely do that. So, uh, and it will feature the uh, 971. Okay, well, keep safe, everybody. Wish you a, a, a good DX and a great weekend. And uh, I'll uh, no doubt catch some of you via the comments on Oxford Shortwave Blog. Thanks for watching.